let's move on to changing strings. Okay, now I use stay in tune strings, SIT strings. And I will open this package. So you get the strings out. You'll need some wire cutters. And I really like having a string winder. These things really come in handy. Now, I like to take my strings off if this is a strat. Some Les Pauls have a tailpiece that falls off if you take all of your strings off. So you'll need to accommodate that and make sure that you hold that on to put your strings on or you can take your strings off one at a time. But for my strap, this is my process. I loosen all of the strings. Just so you can hear. Okay, and from there, I snip each of the strings. Now the reason I do that is because there's tension on the neck when all of the strings are tight and it's in pitch. And so I don't like to just snap the strings off once they, you know, for one thing they fly up, but two, it really kind of shocks the wood of the guitar. Uh, probably no massive damage would be done. Uh, but it's just best for the guitar, I think, to take loosen the strings before you take them off. This is a good time if you're going to polish your guitar or anything to do that. Uh, my guitar is filthy. I've been playing a ton of gigs. So I'm not going to use this opportunity to clean my guitar. Now, this particular package, I have two strings in each pack. That can be just a little bit... Uh, of a pain to keep from losing a string, keeping things straight. But take the string out, unwind it, and this is my E string. So on a strap, I have holes in the back that my strings go through the body. Okay, so once they're through, I'm gonna pull them out the other side. Now, I like to take my lowest string up to like my fourth fret, I'm sorry, my fourth tuning key. I don't want too much slack on each of these strings. It doesn't look good and it's not necessary and the strings just take longer and longer to stretch out. So, I have six different examples. I'll show you how each part of this goes. First, I put the string on. Uh, all different tuners look just a little bit different. Here, the string goes down into the tuner and wraps around. Some have a hole that you put through and wrap around. So, let me just show you how I tune this first one. And we'll get into that in the next string. So, once I get this on and wrapped around a couple of times. I like to keep the tension on it and I begin to wind it up and then I like to stretch it out a little bit. Now especially these wound strings they're wound all the way up and down so to stretch these out at different intervals of the guitar just helps the overall string to kind of break into being out of the package and put into use, okay? So, I'm not going to get this up to pitch just yet. I'm going to go on and get my A string out. Back 
again so I don't forget which string is what. And do this. Go through the back hole of the guitar and out the front. Pull it all the way through until that ball on the end of the string catches. Pull it all the way down and go about three tuning keys up. Snip the wire. Now I'll show you how you put the strings on on this particular strap. This is not a traditional type tuning key that has a hole that you put the string through like threading a needle. This has a, a hole in the centerpiece. So I put this straight down, then I bend it, then I wrap it around. And I'm gonna wrap it around this way, clockwise, okay? And as I wrap, I'm gonna, each time I wrap, I'm gonna go underneath the string down towards the headstock. I don't want it to come off the top. I want the string to wrap down, okay? Once I get it started, handy string winder, pulling on it so it just stays nice and tight, not pulling hard. Notice how I have my thumb down here to keep it from popping out of the bridge slot. When people put on guitar strings, and again, you're a new player, so this is a lot of information. You can go to Guitar Center, any mom and pop music store, your favorite music store, anywhere. They can change, you can buy a set of strings, they can change the strings for you for a nominal fee. Honestly, I don't know exactly what that would be, but it shouldn't be too ridiculous. So if you have trouble with this, know that you can have somebody help you, okay? But as you progress, this is something you want to be able to do. And if you do have someone help you, watch what they're doing, okay? All right. This is our D string. Eat a darn good breakfast each day. may seem silly, but you do want to know the names of your strings, whatever it takes. Okay. Now, as the strings get a little bit more um, thin, they'll fit as they wrap around a little bit better. So I'll take this all the way down to, you know, towards the end of the guitar. Uh, sometimes people put them on and make them too short to where the string doesn't wrap around at all. It just goes through, meaning if I had cut this off too short and just put it in right there and when I wrapped it around there was nothing to wrap, I don't like to do that. I like to get some real estate of this string wrapped around this tuning key because I feel like it helps me get a little bit more sustain uh, there's a little bit more of the string touching the guitar on each end. Uh, and I don't think that's just in my head. I mean, I really think that these, all of these little things matter. Right down to if you have an electric guitar, making sure you have good guitar cables. You know, uh, clean source of power. All of these little things are components to a signal chain that starts from the note itself, the pickups, through the signal chain to an amp. And really it starts with, um, outside of the strings, our hands and how it is that we play this thing and the care that we give to each note, okay? Terribly out of tune still. I will get my G string. And I'm just getting these on to where they're not floppy, okay? I'm not over tightening them though. Again, bring this through to where it's tight there. Cut off a little bit from the end. Before I put it in. Here I can wrap this around because the string is thinner. Wrap that around about four whole times. See I have my finger down here holding it down so it's wrapping down and it can't pop off. 
Now I've done this a million times. So if I'm making this look easy, it is for me. But when I first changed my strings, one, I broke a string. You know, I didn't, I had no idea. I just kept tuning and tuning. I didn't know how high to tune it. Pop, string broke. So that was no fun. Especially because I didn't have another one. I didn't think about things like that. Oh, strings. <laughs> now I use gauge 10 to 46. 10, 12, 24, um, I'm sorry, uh, 10, 13, 17, 26, 36, and 46. That's gauge 46, 36, 26, 17, 13, and 10. For years I used 9 to 42s, but uh, I decided to go a slightly heavier strings because you get more tone out of heavier strings. Now being a female, this is as heavy as I can go, okay, and be able to really bend the string. Um, so gauge is important. You'll, if you can handle 10 to 46, that's great. Uh, if, you're, if you have a nice electric and if it's set up well, you should be just fine with that. Um, if you're on an acoustic guitar, you'll probably want to use a medium light. Again, it's real important to have your guitar set up by a professional, even if it's a brand new, really nice guitar. When they come out of the box, they're just loosely set up at the factory. So it's worth going to a guitar center or one of the music stores in town that works on guitars, have them put on a new set of strings and set up the action. It shouldn't be a high fee. I honestly don't know exactly how much it, it would, would cost. It varies at different stores, so you can call around. Uh, but they set it up to where it's perfectly in tune with itself. The action is as low as possible, and you've got the right gauge strings. And you can buy a couple extra packs and you're good to go. It's worth the investment, it really is. You want your instrument to be tuned up and to be you know, as easy to play as possible. Okay, now my last two strings, I put the entire string, you know, put it, stick it in, and wrap it around clockwise. And see how I'm using my finger to kind of hold this? You don't want it to pop out. Once it gets kinked, it's really hard to use. Now this holds the string in place from popping out of the nut. Hold it down with my index finger. Keep it kind of taut. And again, with these higher strings, be careful that you don't pull too hard. Make sure your hands are clean when you put your strings on too. Might sound silly, but um, you really want to wash your hands before you play. It'll help your strings last a little bit longer. And uh, you can wipe off the neck and your strings when you're done. If you know some people's hands do not sweat, mine do not. I sweat a lot when I play, but my hands do not sweat. Some of you, your palms and your hands may sweat. That's going to really uh, make the life of your string shorter and shorter and shorter, depending on how much your hands sweat. So you know, keep a rag around, especially if your hands sweat. And wipe the strings off periodically that will help again I put the whole string in wind down carefully so the string doesn't pop out underneath okay now There we go. Now I'm going to turn my tuner back on. And this particular tuner will give me a pitch. That's an A.
Let me turn that off for a minute. And I'm going to coarse tune. My other strings. Just coarse. Be careful with these high strings. You can keep going. If you don't know what you're listening for, you can pop a string. I tend to start with my A, go all the way down, and then bring in my E. Then I'll stretch the strings out again one more time. Okay, and do this again. Now I'm just using the tuner itself. Whoops. I went too high, so I'm going to come underneath it and up. volume down I'm gonna bend the strings a little bit you don't have to do this because I'm a lead player I'm gonna be playing this guitar tonight I want to bend the strings so they're broken in so when I get on stage and I'm in tune and I start to play my guitar doesn't go out of tune okay a lot of times people say why wow, you just change your string and I never see you tune on stage I tune at the beginning of the night my guitar stays in tune because I put my strings on with this method and it really stays in tune quite well. Now, I'm gonna get back to the guitar tuner. You can also, instead of just playing the string open, you can play a harmonic on the 12th fret. Sometimes the tuner picks that up a little bit better if you're using the mic and not plugged in. I cannot plug into my phone. This time I'm going to tune my E string to my A because this low string, as as the low strings, well, when when the 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 neck has no tension on it and the strings are kind of really loose and flappy, the guitar neck is kind of straight. Once you start getting tension on it, actually it's less than straight. Once you start getting tension on it, it straightens out because it it pulls on that wood with the the tension from the string, okay? So bringing this low string up can cause all of the other strings to come down just a little bit because the tension on the neck gets tighter. Fine tuning now. there we go changing your strings tools that you need how to tune finally holding your pick I have students hold their pick with their first finger and thumb only never ever ever making a fist but keeping your right hand open because these fingers and as you touch the body that becomes your eyesight okay by touching this pickup or by touching my bottom string, I learn how far the other strings are. Okay, so that is a lot of information, but it will get you started if you're a beginner. If you're a beginner to intermediate and you, and you decided to watch this for the learning how to put strings on and tune your guitar, excellent. Either way, as you move forward, I want you to really take the time 
to watch the videos, get an overview, then pick up your guitar and watch them again and start to work with them. Okay? All right. Thank you so much. Again, we'll move on now with the series. Each individual lesson, there's a description. There's a ton of information here. Take your time. There's no race. Playing slowly and accurately will bring speed and movement forward faster than anything. If you try to move too fast, it will really be a detriment. But if you take a nice, slow, consistent approach, you're really going to see yourself move forward quickly. Okay? Thanks so much. Let's move on.